Here we have the number two, simply arranged as two blocks side by side forming one column. And we can turn those two blocks around and we can show them as two blocks side by side as a row. But that's the only two arrangements that we can use for the number two. Let's look at the number three. So once again we can form one column of three blocks or we can form one row of three blocks but they're the only two combinations they're the only two arrangements of the number three so let's look at the number four how can we form rectangular blocks out of the number four we can have a, a column or once again we could have a row of four blocks but we can now also put them as four arranged in two columns of two to form that square. And then for every single other even number, we'll see the same thing. So there's the number six. Six arranged in two columns of three. And the number eight. Eight arranged in two columns of four. And so on for every even number. So even numbers will have more rectangular arrangements they will have a minimum of three. But they could likely have more. Let's look at the number nine. Nine's not even. So once again, we could form a single column of nine blocks, or we could turn that around and have a row of nine blocks. But we can also arrange them in a three by three. So the number nine has more than two arrangements. It has three. Let's look at another odd number, but let's look at 11. 11 can be arranged as a single column or a single row. Let's try and arrange it in two, in two columns and we'll see that we haven't quite got enough blocks to do that. And let's try and arrange it in three columns and that still leaves a gap. So 11 only has two arrangements. It's very similar to the number two and the number three and the number five and the number seven in that they only have two arrangements those numbers are prime. So prime numbers only have two rectangular arrangements of blocks, either as a single column or a single row. Other numbers, and we've looked at numbers like 4 and 6 and 8 and 9, and we could go on with 12, etc., have many more ar rectangular arrangements of blocks, and so they're called composite numbers. But it does raise the question about the number 1, how many different arrangements are there? If composite numbers like 4 and 6 and 8 etc have more than two arrangements and prime numbers only have two arrangements, what about the number 1? It only has one arrangement. I don't think it's prime. <laughs>